it, it's been crazy like watching this whole YSL uh, drama unfold you know what I mean it's like it's crazy, it makes you realise how public this shit is because these guys like Thug and Gunner were mega stars like bear in mind that year they got arrested last year that was when Pushing P like I don't know maybe like six months or something before yeah, yeah, yeah it was flying everyone was talking about Pushing yeah, P yeah, 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 and then this guy's in jail just they threw him in jail I mean, now they're saying he he snitched to get out or whatever you want to say about it, but it's like this whole thing is such a big public spectacle. Is like, it snitching in jail if you're basically? I don't even know what he did. What, did, what he basically? Let's, let's watch he, it. He said he got ready. He said he would testify if he came back to court. He just basically pled guilty, right? But the the thing that they're saying is snitching <clears throat> is that he basically admitted that YSL is a gang, and they're saying that basically like that gives the prosecutors like everything they need to be like, yo, like like you're a gang like we didn't we couldn't confirm they were a gang until like gunner said yes they're a gang hmm. um let's see gunner snitching court it's all it's all a bit techy isn't it is it this one what do you guys think yo in the chat what do you think you think gunner's a snitch after each statement whether or not you agree or acknowledge that the statements are true that. okay yes ma'am So they're reading out a statement right now. As it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens. Yes, ma'am. That's it. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL yeah, this the part have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. That that's basically why they think it's snitching, and it's. I mean, it just seems like yeah, the YSL is is a gang. Yes, ma'am. That part seems like it's snitching, but bro, anything can be clipped out of context, bro. It's it, it basically because the thing is, I from what I understand, the, the the terms of his deal were that he basically has to, if asked, testify and take the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah and he's yeah. apparently he's running around saying like, I never snitched. I would never take the stand on my brother. But like, you'll have to if they ask you, he's going to have to, or they're going to put him in jail for five years. I feel years. like it's one of those things where it's just like, Gunner's lawyer and the feds have spoke and basically the prosecutors or whatever, and it's basically just like, look. You plead guilty and say you're going to have to testify. Say you will testify if you have to, and then nothing's ever going to come from it. It's like, um... bro, how it really works in court. Like, if you go out there and just like start giving them a hard time, they're going to give you a hard time. If you make it mm. easy for them, they're going to make it easy for you, bro. That's facts. This is the thing. I mean, Unfortunately, th that's just how it works. This is saying gun. This is saying Thug was supposed to have a trial in January, but it's obviously not happened. Well, there we go. But um. This is, yeah, Gunner said, I have no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. But he has to if they ask him to. Mm. Um, and It's probably worked out with the lawyer before. Like, they probably knew that But like he's not going to have to go. He, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Gunner got a four-year suspended sentence and is banned from having any contact with his co-defendants unless via the lawyers or record label. But that means that if Gunner, bas if they say, Gunner, you need to take the stand, and he's like, nope. He'll get four years in jail. They'll throw him in jail for four years straight up. So they kind of got him. Like he kind of has to. He kind of has to basically snitch. Even if that little statement we saw a minute ago doesn't count as snitching, like they're gonna try and pressure him. They're gonna <clears throat> probably put him on the stand. Even just having him saying YSL is indeed a gang mm. is like pretty. Like it's gonna help them a lot. Like they've literally got like they're like they're gonna be in court with a judge and the judge is gonna be like, is this a gang? And they're gonna be like. <sighs> Gunner said it is. I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know because it's like you can't just take people's words. Li li words don't actually get you convicted, bro. Well, that, no, but that's true. You're right. No, you are right. But this you is the solid thing. evidence. But they're gonna combine that with, with like the evidence they got. All the other shit. Yeah, yeah. I, it's looking techie for YSL, bro. Free Doug, man. Bruh, free Doug. Hurry up the trial for Thug. I'd say, bro. I actually feel sorry for the guy. You know, I'm not gonna lie, bro. But the thing with Thug. Bro, I Keith think. died. Sorry to keep cutting I do you feel, off, but no, I do feel Keith bad. died. Everybody got locked up at the same time. Gunners now apparently snitched on him. And he's then going through it. All his, all his little YGs are snitching on him. He's still there the whole time. He's just trying to hold it down. And he's just like all timid and having... You hear about all the withdrawals and that because he's on it. He's yeah, got too yeah. many perks. Got too many perks. Too many perks. Too many perks. Ain't gonna make it. So yeah, it's just, he's, he's literally itching for the perks. It's peak for him, bro. <sighs> apparently, <laughs> this is a funny thing. There's that news that's been going around. Apparently, he's eating nothing but crisps in jail, right? Oh god! Um, How could you live off of just that, bro? I I, I give it a try. Are but, you a teenage girl? Uh, but wait, this is the funny thing, right? So, um, <clears throat> look, you see this, right? Young thug ain't no free thugger. 
apparently so he relies on eating chocolate and chips in jail he's not eating real food and he's like oh i can't i can't <clears throat> access the the nutrition that i need there's no health benefits like, i'm eating all this bad food like you gotta let me out of jail but it turns out right i knew this from way back <laughs> so young thug <clears throat> apparently he's always um look at this so this is from young thugs gq interview he drinks lean all day smokes weed all day takes molly all day never sleeps and he eats nothing he eats days without food and then <laughs> on the third day of every month a doctor shows up at his mansion in buckhead and injects him with vitamins i read um i, I that sounds about right i read that like he just eats cheetos basically yeah he just eats you can kind of you can kind of tell to be honest i mean i don't know man i don't know bro i feel i don't know health is wealth bro if you got all this money look after your health you know what i'm saying bro i mean that's the thing it's like if you're on that position how have you not got a chef like i yeah. saw a thing today apparently lil wayne check this out yeah i saw that, I saw that, that, I saw that. Yeah, yeah and he pulls over to cook rather than going to the, the fast food place doesn't eat for 20 years or whatever bro i'm trying to get the personal chef that cooks at the side of the road like wayne bro that is the one like, bro, I feel like I, I would get that. a chef, but I just feel like ugh, this is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like they ain't gonna cook better than me, bro. How I like it. Your food is fire. Yeah, your yeah. food. You like it, yeah. Last time we linked Come up, on, you dude, cooked me a little done, something, bro. and it was pretty on point. Come on, bro. That was, that was the gains after we hit gym as well. So. The gains. You gotta let them know. That was people, the gains food. People look at me, they're thinking I ain't hit the gym, but I was bro, hitting. I, was I hitting had him out here in the sauna. He did. He did. He needed thirty seconds in the sauna. Yeah, pause on that one. I did a little taste. Yeah, bro, you were in a sauna for like 40 minutes. I don't know what you're doing. Like, yeah, yeah, you're going yeah, crazy in there. Switch the algorithm up a little bit. Got some Joe Rogan shit. Need to get shit. the Joe Rogan popping up. You need to get the Andrew, whatever, whatever he's called. You need to get all these guys popping up. You're going to start popping in the sauna for 40 minutes, bro. Bro, these guys are going to live forever. Round. These guys are doing this heat therapy. They're going to live forever. We're going to be listening to Joe Rogan in 100 years. He's just going to still yeah, be he's alive. Still gonna be there. Talking oh, the same shit about the yeah. vaccine. DMT. <laughs> you really, really six Brett DMT. Weinstein. Open your mind. <laughs> Fucking hell. Really? What's that like? <laughs> mm. I saw this hilarious TikTok impression of Joe Rogan, bro. I swear it had me in bits, bro, because it was just like, oh, DMT. Oh. Bro, this is the Mushroom. thing. I feel like Rogan, at a certain point, he's done like, what, 500 episodes of that show. Mm. But no, not even. He's probably done 2,000 episodes of that show. I swear it's been around for like 15 years or something. Yeah, like I think we've heard him say, everything. talk about DMT. We've heard him say everything that ever needs to be said, yeah. basically. Like an AI that's the perfect example just give all the joe rogan episodes to an ai we can just put rogan in a freezer literally and just let the ai Don't do it need him. Yeah, we've got he, all the info he can just chill on a cold plunge forever <laughs> you know I mean? just just put him in there it just doesn't need to come out ever bro that's, yeah he'll just be chilling chilling in the, in the, in the cold plunge bro that's fucked man um listen we've been going for more than an hour 